I love having energy and peptides to have more energy is what I like. But just before I start, uh, for energy peptides, you want to cycle these on eight to 12 weeks and then four weeks off and you want to stack them carefully. Don't combine too many at once. You want to start with one and then go from there. Before I get started, there is a free peptide guide in my bio. If you don't already have it, make sure you save this video. Make sure that you're following me. Number one is going to be MOTC. It's a mitochondrial derived peptide and it works because it enhances mitochondrial function. Uh, it's going to improve insulin sensitivity and it activates something called AMPK, AMPK, your body's cellular energy regulator. You're going to dose this 5 to 15 milligrams subcutaneously, two to three times a week, most often 10 milligrams. Some of the side effects are going to be mild flushing, appetite suppression, and temporarily fatigue after injection. Paradoxically, it can drain you in the short term and energize you in the long term. Number two is going to be Humana, which is another mitochondrial peptide. It reduces cellular damage, improves stress resilience, and it's been reported that it improves cognitive function. You're going to dose this at 10 to 20 milligrams subcutaneously two to three times a week, just like MOTC. The only real side effects are going to be nausea, and that's only at high doses. Number three is going to be CMAX, and that's technically a nootropic peptide. And this is going to increase BDNF. It's going to increase dopamine, and it's going to increase serotonin. So it improves focus, mental energy, and motivation. You're going to dose this at 300 to 600 micrograms intranasally one to two times a day. The only side effects to this are going to be irritation to your nasal cavity, if anything. And number four is going to be Solanc, which is another nootropic peptide. And rather than giving you like a boost of energy, this is going to calm your mind without sedating you. So it makes your mental energy more usable. You're going to dose this at 250 to 500 micrograms intranasally one to two times a day. Side effects for this are going to be very mild, a lot less nasal burn than CMAX. 